Taste matters. That's what Rick Nutcher, a third generation dairy farmer and milk producer from Modesto says. People want to know where their food comes from and they want to know about taste and quality. Well, when it comes to milk, Rick Nutcher and family gives you the opportunity to find out. I'm Joey Gonzalez, bringing you another episode of Ag Stories. Soon it'll be sunrise here at the Nutcher Dairy Farm, but work on the dairy started quite a while ago and continues throughout the day, taking care of the cream of the crop that provides the freshest milk you'll ever taste. But not long ago, there were challenges that faced many dairies, including the Nutcher Dairy. 2009 was a very rough year for dairymen. We uh, lost a lot of money. So Rick Nutcher got creative. I was thinking of ways to diversify. So during that thought process, I was thinking of cheese, ice cream, yogurts, all kinds of stuff. As I researched it more, uh, 2012, I started traveling around Pennsylvania and Missouri and other places that were bottling farmstead products and visited with these local dairymen doing their own thing and learned more about it. And that's when the idea was born to do the bottles and go for the glass bottles. But it wasn't quite that easy because bottle washers were no longer being manufactured. But Rick didn't give up. He found a 1960s bottle washer and rebuilt it to fit his needs. We've added some flavors with said our whole milk and our 2%, trying to make it fun and interesting for kids. So we'll be looking for new flavors all the time. We're doing a chocolate, strawberry, orange cream, root beer, cotton candy, finishing up with our uh, pumpkin and our eggnog for the year. We'll have new flavors coming next year. But Rick's creativity is only enhanced by the comfort and good health of his team members, the cows. We uh, strive for cow comfort and nutritional balance rations for the cows. Work hard at growing quality feeds so that uh, the cows have a good balance ration and a quality feed that lasts them all year long or corn silages that we grow ourselves. We work very diligent about keeping a clean crop so that they have good feed and the grains and the hays that we buy are high quality to uh, give them a balanced meal. The nutritional feed that we feed them, we have a nutrition that works out our rations with the right amount of grains, proteins, and starches, and fibers. We run it through a feed wagon that chops it to the right length. So each bite that she is getting is a balanced meal. And it's better than us humans eat. We uh, work very hard at keeping the, the cut length on the hay the right. We um, work at keeping the quality of feed into them the same all the time, and therefore the the milk that she produces is of high quality and the same taste for the entire year. The difference between my milk is it comes from my cows where I can control the quality of the feed they get, I can control how they're milked and the quality of milk as it comes out of the cow and the cleaning of the barn and I can run low bacteria counts, low somatic cell counts and it's only my milk being bottled and that's where I can control the quality on my end compared to milk that comes from larger creameries. Stanislaus County is nobody that bottles their milk 20 feet away from where the milk and the cows are milked. So we can bring the milk over during milking into our processing room and pasteurize, homogenize it, flavor it, have it in a bottle within a few hours after it left the cow. Almost all places it has to leave the dairy go to a processing plant, trucking involved, it's more of 20 hours, 10 hours instead of a few hours. So freshness that I can get at my place is the best you can get. The cow makes great milk. My job is not to screw it up. From farm to table milk, it's homegrown. With this family, you can say, the family that milks together stays together. Thanks for watching. I'm Joey Gonzalez, and remember, a little dirt on your hands is a good thing.